So let's move on to our second tech talk. He is the founder of Pragmatic Test Labs, has more than 16 years of industry, industry experience in quality assurance. He has also been the quality assurance manager at Calci and Teamworks. He holds a master's in business administration from University of Sri Java Dhanapura. He also played a key role to establish the Colombo Selenium Meetup and Open Web Application Security Project chapter in Sri Lanka. Let me welcome Mr. Janesh Kodikara to share his experience on Selenium Grid with Docker. Janesh, the stage is yours. Thanks, Kishan, for the nice introduction and uh, giving me opportunity to uh, uh, share knowledge with you. Uh, the presentation is about uh, rather demo as well. Selenium Grid with Docker. Agenda for the day is uh, discuss a little bit about uh, Selenium Test Suite. I know that most of you have used Selenium, yes. And then a little bit about uh, Selenium Grid, a bit of architecture, then a demo of uh, Selenium Grid, the classical Selenium Grid. Then uh, the Selenium grid with Docker and the terminology use. Of course, we need to understand the, the terminology well. In my training, I always explain the, in the medical terms, uh, ITC stands for inflammation and gastritis, bronchitis, arthritis. All doctors understand them, right, inflammation. So in testing, we need to understand the terminology well before jumping into any tools or technology or discussing about uh, the things, right? And a demo, of course, the followed by. So let's move into the uh, the Selenium test suite. As you understand, Selenium test suite mainly consists of uh, three tools and uh, Selenium ID web drive itself and uh, the Selenium grid is within uh, Selenium web driver. Uh, it comes with Selenium web driver APIs as well uh, as a separate uh, Selenium server, right? And the Selenium grid architecture mainly, it consists of a, a hub where you can uh, pass your test into the hub and the hub will distribute the test among the nodes, basically the, the machines where you have the, uh, the uh, client browsers running. Why Selenium Grid? Uh, we use uh, Selenium Grid for distributing the test, right? The automation itself we use for executing the test faster, right? Going from manual to automation. Now we are more greedy. Now we want to run test even faster, right? Running test parallel is one. Doing things in parallel, you can execute or do the things faster. So distributed testing or Selenium Grid is used for that. When for this, you need to have your test automation script ready, right? Uh, and multiple platform. That means you can run on different operating systems remotely and multiple browsers, Safari, uh, Firefox, Google Chrome, whatever. Then when to use the, uh, the grid? Of course, uh, initially you have to stick with your basic Selenium web drivers code, then you have to go to the, the uh, the grid level when you want to do test compatible testing and then uh, when you want to save the execution time when you are in that stage you can always go into the uh, the the selenium grid so what is docker i talked to few uh, guys i mean before the session a very few use uh, uh, selenium in rather docker in their companies but not even uh, in the, uh, the testing. So it's new one, right? Let, as uh, Dilan said, let's add bit by bit, day by day, and we'll move into the next level. So Docker is new thing, and you can add this to your test automation suite and run the test in parallel, right? Docker is many things to many people. Docker is a company, 
to the the company that provide uh, the uh, services, right? And uh, mainly Docker is the leading software containerization platform in the world today, right? As I said, we need to understand the terms before going into demo. Uh, you need to understand these terms. I think you can see the slide well. The client, where you run the, the Seleni, uh, Docker commands, right? Like uh, in SVN or the other GitHub-like tool, you need to pull the, uh, get the code. Similarly, in the uh, Docker, Docker client help us to run the interface with the Docker repository and Docker host and run the commands. Mainly, uh, we use the Docker pull to get the code, import the, the Docker images, right? I'll explain what is images also. And Docker build is for compiling the, uh, the, the images and push into the, the, uh, the repository. Docker run is, of course, for the running the, the applications or the, uh, the containers. Uh, the container terms, I think you should be very much familiar with the containers, right? I should explain this little bit so that you get interested. In the transportation industry, when you transport anything from uh, any place, right, uh, in the world, it is standardized using containers. You can ship, it's from ships, uh, trains, or the lorries, right, anywhere, any goods, so the containers is used. So the same concept is you've seen uh, here, where you have your build uh, images or the application, data, the libraries, everything together, and you can build it and ship and run anywhere. So that's the concept used here. And the Docker host, Docker host has got, it's, uh, it's the machine that you are working with, and it has got images. Images mainly the, 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 template that you use for creating your instances. So the, the images reside in the, uh, the re registry. Registry is mainly something like GitHub, if you have worked with, or SVN, where all the your repository of code stays. Similarly, the Docker containers, or rather images, stays or the uh, available in the registry, Docker Hub. And uh, the containers are the instances. Right, same like object and the class in Java terms or object orientation concepts. And image is the, the object that you download or get from the, the hub and container is the instance running. For example, you can run the, the Selenium grid instance and the Selenium node instances. And the good thing is you have to do very little. When you go higher, I always discuss when you have a manual car, it's very difficult. And when you have a small manual car, it's very difficult to drive. And when you have a bigger car, sophisticated one, driving is very easy. So don't be fear about this Docker new terms. And you have to go to ne can go next level, right? The good thing is the community has done a lot of work. The build, ship, run. This is from the front page of the Docker uh, 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 website, it says Docker is for building, shipping, and running. When it comes to context of uh, the today's presentation, uh, Selenium grid with Docker, we don't have to do building, we don't have to do shipping, it's already shipped, right? What we have to do, we have to pull and run. That's all, okay? So the, the, all the hard work is done in this project, Selenium Docker project. If you go to the GitHub project, it's done. And also it's available in the, the, uh, the hub Docker project as well. Uh, Selenium grid with Docker architecture is pretty much simple. Only thing it runs with the, uh, the, the containers, right? The containers. Anybody, uh, I mean, how many of you use uh, classical Selenium grid? Something other than Docker? Yes, at least in trainings you have used, right? And uh, you know the difficulties we have. You have to download the drivers, you have to download the nodes, the Selenium server, you need to install uh, compatible JDK or JRE, 
Likewise, a lot of other things, you have to install the, 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 the required browsers, all those things you have to do. When it comes to uh, the Docker, you don't have to do anything. You just pull the, the hub and the nodes and then run and just link, that's all, right? It's pretty simple. Okay, the issues as time permits, I can uh, get into this. There are two demos. Uh, one is uh, on normal or classical grid. So I done the video for you. Uh, first is uh, download in the, the Selenium grid. You go to download page from the official Selenium and the releases, you get the, the compatible version and the Selenium service standalone version, you have to download it. And uh, the prerequisite for this is uh, you have to have the compatible JRE running. and uh, move to the, the directory where you have uh, downloaded the, uh, the, the standalone server. Then uh, run the uh, jar file or the, uh, the Selenium server with uh, the role hub, right? So this will start up the, uh, the Selenium grid and available for connecting with the nodes. Now you have to go to the, uh, the open a browser and check the, uh, the configuration or the rather the console where you can see nothing. Next you uh, download the, the Selenium Chrome, rather the Chrome driver from the side download side. Obviously uh, you can get the uh, both Chrome driver and IE driver or any driver you want from the, uh, the, the official site itself and it will direct it to the, the third party sites where you can download them. Once the download is done, you have to extract them and uh, run the, the node command, right? Uh, so what you have to do is uh, you have to navigate to the directory where you have downloaded the 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 drivers and uh, this is very important the the driver you have to explain and give the uh, the location to the the driver exe with the extension also very important and then give the role as the node now this role node is available to is connected with the, the hub that we have started initially, right? And ready for sending Selenium se uh, test to them, right? To the node. And the, uh, the hub location you have to give, and it is uh, done in the local machine itself, but the, the good thing is you can run the test in the remote machine, right? So this is very important. The, the, you can uh, replace the local host with an, any IP. And of course, I am running on the default port, the 4444. And the platform you have to mention and the, the port. Here I am mentioning port because uh, uh, there may be conflict when you run multiple uh, nodes, right? And usually the the uh, the port should be beyond 1024. The reason is some standard services may be running. So select something beyond 1024 and ensure that no other service is running on that particular port. Then we, uh, if you want to get the IE, similarly the Internet Explorer you can uh, download I will speak, skip that part because uh, you might have already done. It's more or less similar. Then you go to the console and you can see two browsers are available to connect with the the uh, hub. And it's a simple test that we show uh, 
to demonstrate uh, the selenium grid. And uh, <coughs> you can see the, the tests running in parallel, right? Okay. You have to believe me. <laughs> okay. So I'll move to next one is uh, the the main topic today. Uh, first, you download the, the the Docker toolbox, the install in the client, right? Where you can communicate with uh, Docker. And the go download page, and uh, this is for the Windows environment, Docker toolbox, uh, and uh, proceed with the uh, the installation steps. Just uh, press the next button. It's pretty simple, and uh, select the the last option as well, which is not selected by default. And the installation is done. Once it is done, you get these two. Do uh, this command window. The other one is the the visualizing the repository at your Kitematic, and then uh, you search for the Selenium Hub in the. Uh, and you get this one, right? These hubs are, you don't go there because it's uh, not the official ones. Always go for the official one. And uh, this is the command that you use, docker pull command, selenium hub. And it will automatically download the, the, uh, the image, right? The term is image. And then you search for the node, Firefox, right? Basically, it will get the, the all the Firefox available for you, and all the 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 pull command is available in the site itself. You can just copy and paste in the uh, the command prompt, and this will download the the Firefox uh, node. And then what you can do is uh, then you uh, go for the next browser that is uh, the Google Chrome. And currently uh, seven projects are seven uh, images are there: uh, Selenium Hub and uh, the the two browsers, different flavors of two browsers. And copy the the, the Chrome. And here we are just focusing on two browsers and download it from the uh, the repository or the docker hub then we run the the uh, hub initially d stand for daemon and the port number is uh, stated by default also it's uh, 4444 if you don't mention also and give the name and this name is very important this is the name that we use to link with the the node as well and this is the the image name selenium hub now it is started and if you go to the, the uh, browser and if you open and you can see the console running that shows that your selenium hub is started and available for running the test or the or the connecting with the the nodes then uh, you can start the 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 Linking the link the Selenium uh, hub. This is the name that we have given in the previous uh, command, and Selenium dash uh, node Firefox, and this will start up the uh, the node container. Container is the term, the instance. Then we run, create another instance that is uh, the Chrome uh, node. And uh, when you go to the, the browser, you can see uh, both uh, nodes are available to run with. Now, when you run the test, you can see. Uh, So this is a prerequisite. You need to have your 
uh, XML there. I trust you understand what I mean. Then uh, you can see the test running in parallel. So as you, if you compare the two uh, classical and the Docker version, you can see the, the advantage of using Docker. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you can ask any questions during the panel discussion. Uh, since time is uh, not available, we can uh, stop there. Okay, thank you very much.